Morgan, we, we've spoken before um, at the 2012 Paralympics, obviously, yes. um, and we talked at that point about legacy. What, you know, how do you feel since 2012 things have changed for Paris swimming in particular, or for you in person? Person. For me in person, um, I'll start off by saying that um, I would just like to continue my legacy. That's what I said in London, and um, by coming here, that's a good start. I think like this is my first Commonwealth Games, and um, it's an amazing atmosphere. It's uh, similar to London, and uh, I just came here to do Canada proud, um, and I just. I would like to continue doing that for as long as my swimming career lasts. What, what difference has it made, do you think, mixing the, the para sport with the, the regular swimming? I mean, it, it, it changes the dynamic. This is the biggest platform yes, it's ever yes, had. Yes, it does. Really. Yes, it definitely does change the dynamic. Um, it's huge that um, they're taking this step and and. and including the para in these games. Um, this is, like you said, the biggest uh, inclusion that the para sport has had. Um, and, it, and I just hope to continue to see that growth continue throughout um, each games and that everyone sees like how big para is and is getting um, and is already. So. Is it, do you feel it's changing the understanding of disability in Canada? Do you, do you, do you get a sense from the public that, that they understand better the parasport or that they understand disability better? Um, I think that is what, that the, what we need to strive for is to um, educate the public more often about what parasport is. And uh, at Commonwealth, for example, um, before each pair race, they're explaining on the board what each classification is so that people get an understanding of who is swimming and what their uh, abilities and also limitations are. And I think that's the key is the more the public uh, is educated about para sport, the better. Obviously, Edmonton's bidding for the, the Commonwealth Games in, yeah. I think it's 2022. Yeah. Um, what do you think, what lessons do you think they need to learn from the integration here of para swimming with swimming, the swimming event? What, what lessons do you hope they take away from that in, ter in terms of planning their bid or planning the games if they're successful? Um, if they're successful uh, in, in planning the games, um, I think they need to learn or take away from this games, just uh, build off what they see uh, here in terms of um, educating the public, like I said before, and um, keeping that uh, like the venues um, accessible for people with disabilities. And um, yeah, as long as they are um, treating the um, swimmers with a disability the same or equal to um, able-bodied swimmers, then that is definitely a start in my eyes. Do you think that they should be fully integrated sports, sporting events? I mean, it, it's diff it would be difficult to merge the Paralympics with the Olympics, yeah. but in terms of swim meets, I mean, the, the cycling is a good example at the moment that the Canadian paracyclists had to choose between their events, either come here or go to the World Cup. They couldn't do both. Mm -hmm. So, you know, should there be more of an integration as a, as a regular thing, not just every four years. Yeah, I think that's what all like people on the parasite are striving for is to get that integration into place as, fa as fast and as quickly as possible. Like that's the end goal for everyone on the parasite. Um, yeah, and like the more the para athletes like talk about it and get their story out there that we're hoping that that will happen, that the more integration, the better. <laughs> Are you, have you had much contact from people who also have disabilities who want to get into swimming or might, you know, young people who might look at you and be inspired by what you've done already? Um, yeah, that's actually my goal is to uh, inspire younger para athletes like myself who, uh, my message to them is um, don't let anything stop you and if you have a dream, go after it. Uh, 
your abilities are much higher than your limitations and um, if you believe in yourself you can get there. <laughs>